last one year, the government has been working on a very important document, that of the new education policy. They've also appointed a committee headed by TSR Subramaniam, the former cabinet secretary, to present a draft education policy report. And this is the first time that we'll be He'll be speaking about his vision for AI and the first time we'll have an interaction on television about what students really want from their textbooks, from their education system. And let's just take a look at, despite the fact that the government wanted a bottoms-up policy, a lot of consultations on the ground from Gram Panchayat, states and other levels as well, there are so many people who want change. Take a look at what some of the students want before we talk to Mrs. Subramanian. book, there is a military rule in Vietnam. But it has become a democratic country. So, that's why I want to update our books. We should add our syllabus. This is an interactive method which the children can learn and learning skills. For science, so TSR Subramanian speaking at, on TV about the policy report which he is going to submit next month. Hopefully by mid-February. Uh, okay. So sir, perhaps one of the things that people have pointed out is that there are so many suggestions. We saw some of these children as well who have everybody over here. Everybody has an opinion about education. You must have got millions of suggestions. How will you sift through that to present your report? Well, you see, uh, things like education or politics, uh, every Indian is an expert. So we have 1.2 billion experts in India on that. So I, th I think it's a good question. But I think the ministry has gone about it in a fairly methodical way. Uh, they have asked the state governments to have seminars and then a considered view of each state government. Then every major educational institution has been asked similarly to have... Then they divided the subject into, it's a very vast subject, yes. into 33 divisions, uh, 20 in higher education and 13 in uh, school education. And then these were handed over to specialist organizations, which held national nationwide seminars. All this happened between January and August, September, October of uh, last year. So they have already sifted all of these, and then opinions were taken from individuals. Now, all this mass of material has come to us, which is uh, uh, more than a truckload of material has come yes. to us. <laughs> <coughs> we thought that we should go one step further. So we have uh, taken initiative to talk to maybe 200 experts from all over India. Uh, because uh, as we read them, new ideas come, new thoughts come. And you know, in many areas, opinion is not clear. It is divided. It has got uh, nuances. So this is too important a matter on which we say hit or miss or this or that. So I think we are going step by step, meeting people, and as I said, Ministry has 33 subjects. Actually, it's more than 100 different uh, areas. If you look at the financing area, public versus uh, private area, quality area, yeah. access area. You know, you look at uh, all kinds of dimensions are there. So we are going about it, uh, meeting people. And we went uh, three or four field visits to schools, just surprise inspection to see what's happening. A couple of college visits to see what's happening. We're going to do that in the next 15, 20 days. By and large, we now have not if not a consensus, we have a clear picture as to what, and the policy is still evolving, hopefully in the next 15-20 uh, days we'll put it together. 15-20 days you'll put it together. Now sir, already people are coming up with lots of, you know, heated opinions. Uh, a, a group of academics have written to you saying that they haven't been consulted. They are from <laughs> places like Jawaharlal Nehru <laughs> University, other prominent universities. They are saying, why is it that you're not consulting us? Well, we uh, look at it like this. The ministry has an exhaustive consultation. They have written, they put it on email, they put everybody. Whoever came to us or suggested to us as an expert. So if somebody we feel we should consult, immediately we say give time. Which means that the committee is working, we're meeting six to seven experts every day. And even now we are going to do that. So, so whoever, if you feel, if you feel that some expert, somebody whose opinion has not come, We'll certainly meet them and spend 10, 15 minutes. So these get people a note from who them. have written to you, yes, you've called yes. them now? M many people have written. Practically everybody has been called. Most of them have been met in the last 15 days or a month. Okay. And, and, and so perhaps another concern which academics like John Kurian have written about 
is that it doesn't seem to be there is fear that it's not going to be transparent already the notices the notes which have would have been given by bodies like UGC uh. they are not accessible on the net uh, there are also fears that you know if you've consulted so many people how do we know what the gram panchayat of a particular district the meeting which took place how is it accessible I, are the minutes because in a in a time when there is so much transparency and there is so much thing about see there are uh, as i said four broad streams five broad streams which information came it came through state governments yeah which i think is in public domain it came through the universities etc which were nodal areas they will be apparently in the public domain and then it came to by public coming on email mm -hmm. that going to be in public domain all of that in the website i am sure will be opened up sooner or later by the ministry actually this belongs to the ministry so sooner or later my information is i'm not, i can't speak on behalf of the ministry yeah. information is that when the report comes the entire mass of material okay. including the people we met including the notes that we have received everything is going to be in public domain and hopefully i'm i'm hoping now that the ministry will allow two or three months for people to examine it okay. and, and sort of fine tune it further to get further suggestions yeah. i mean it can't be an ultimately uh, limitless iterative process yeah. at some stage it has to come to a finality sure. but i'm sure the process is on just so sir, we, we our audience is of students i wanted to ask them if there's any change that all of you want to see in your textbooks i would very much like to hear yeah i would very much like to hear what is the what, most what is wrong with the current policy and what is the new thing that you want to see in the new policy yeah, the go issue, ahead. yeah, the, go ahead. One of the main issues that I want to focus uh, to us, um, uh, because in his capacity he cannot uh, elaborate those things, but our concern is the, the saffronization of education. Recently we have seen what happened to Occupy UGC movement, how the student being beaten by on the issue of mere fellowship. So whole education system is under threat. So what our, our concern is, what is the issue of saffronization? Second, what about the scientific temperament like the government will allow the, the the like the scholars of education to say something because what i was say, uh, watching in, in the panel of five member committee there were only one person who was in ncrt rest was just bureaucrat so what do you want uh, the nation should be run by a bureaucrat or some academician who, sh who should frame the policy of education <laughs> well um, uh, the two parts of the question i think the first is affirmation I really don't know what that word means, frankly. Frankly, I really don't know what it means. I suppose uh, lots of people have their own version of what saffronization be. I know that my committee, the committee with which I'm working also, has a very clear picture. That we are not, yes, we want the average Indian to be aware of the greatness of this country. So the student should have, the mm. student should have values. Mm. In other words, we are now seeing lack of values all over. I think these are extremely so important. So how, how do you mean values? Like what will you get? Well, there are basic values of, uh, so, you know, service before self. Uh, there is basic values of uh, you have to contribute. Everybody who receives has to give. This has to come from, see, originally, these things came from the lap of the grandmother or the mother. Now with families broken up and so many rural families, etc., school is the only area where we can... So it's a value act, education to be brought into textbooks? Be, it, it should be. It, this is already the recommendation of the um, uh, Nayi Talim of Mahatma Gandhi, the 1968 policy, 1986 policy. All these have talked about it. But in practice, we have not... So hopefully we're going to move into this area and give some concrete suggestions how this can be uh, done. Uh, so if when you see when people are showing all over India, it's like the drop of a hat, you want to burn a bus, or you know, it's a, it's a, the sort of public spiritedness, good citizenship concepts, etc. We need to bring up at a fairly young age so that people understand so and have pride for the greatness. Look, don't forget, yeah. India is one of the great civilizations. Only the last three, four, so five, six centuries. Till then, in trade, commerce, everywhere. So some pride, all of these, I think, are part of the picture. Pride of what? Of our culture? Yes, of India. Of India. India. I, I'm, I'm, like the, uh, the American, uh, the grandchildren, uh, the children in America, they talk of the each state, its speciality. Every Indian should talk about the states in India, the diversity, the languages, etc. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. With the awareness of that. So there are okay. so many, there are so many angles to this that we have to look at. Can the question he asked with an answer? About the yes, yeah, yeah. sir. I can I ask in the value <laughs> when you talk about the value education? Can I just ask you that one other person who really mentions this a lot and his suggestion has been taken by Haryana government is Dina Nath Batra. Yes. Did did he meet you, sir? Maybe he can be the idol. Dhiranath Batra, I have not met, uh, I have not come across Mr. Dhiranath Batra, so I don't know what his uh, point of view is. If he is, we'll certainly meet him. 
Now that you have mentioned the name, we will search out for him and ask. I don't know who he is, okay. frankly. We have to take a short break. When we, as we go into break, let's just also hear. Let's just also hear what Rahul Verma, who runs the Uday Foundation, he had a suggestion to make about the private. Public partnership in education, and then we'll get T.S. Subramanian's comments on that in just a bit. Take a look. What I feel that in new education policy, there should be a pool of schools, like private schools, uh, mentoring government uh, schools. You know the the schools which are under the government and they do not have the basically who are lacking in the facilities. The private schools can help at least two to three school in their nearby location. They can pool their teachers. They can pool their uh, li 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 libraries. They can pool their laboratories. They can pool their sports equipments. 